I'm all set and ready to go on my four day urban hike. 78 miles around the Capital Ring Walk. Thank you to Kamut for sponsoring this video. The Capital Ring Walk officially starts and ends in Woolwich, but I live just two miles from the route. Each of the days starts and ends at a tube station and I've downloaded the commute route for today straight to my phone so I can use it offline. On Arthur Road head west to follow the tour. Straight away the route has brought me onto Wimbledon Park. The route is to showcase the parks, the woodlands, the lakes and all of the nature reserves hidden in the city of London. I'm five kilometres in and I'm already in this glorious woodland. This is Wimbledon and Putney Commons. In 50 metres take a sharp right onto hiking path. This is Richmond Park and the amount of times that I've been here running, walking and cycling and I never even knew the Capital Ring Walk existed. I've been on the move for over two hours and the majority of the time I've been in parks. Although the route is really well signposted, there are certain junctions at the park where it's really difficult to know which section to take. So that's why it's really handy to have a map downloaded onto your phone. Take the next right. Walking over Richmond footbridge. This is bringing back some really great memories of my London Bridges Challenge. And I'll put the video up here somewhere. I walked through Scion Park, walking past Scion House. I'm now walking along the Grand Union Canal. The Grand Union Canal is 145 miles long and it links London to Birmingham. I've been walking along this path for quite a while and I'm really enjoying it. It's quiet, it's beautiful. And then I just see this sign and the Grand Union Canal Walk, 136 and a half miles that way. And I'd end up in Birmingham. How cool is that? I'm definitely adding that on my list. I'm into my fourth park for the day and this is Brent Lodge Park. Never been here before and super peaceful. There are tons of blackberry bushes along the way that I keep snacking on. I've been in green space most of today and just this final kilometre is right next to the road. I feel ready to get to my hotel because after 25 kilometres my feet have started hurting just a little bit. I'm so happy to have made it. 25 kilometers in the first day is my shortest day and I'm easing myself in. And this place, it's all right. It's pretty cheap, it's 70 pound a night. It's pretty basic, but it's all I need. A big bed and a nice bath. I had the best dinner and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I am ready for day two. It's Saturday morning. I've just 
filled up on a massive breakfast. I've got 35 kilometers, so let's go find the trail. Within 20 minutes, I'm already in green space. It's so lovely. Now take a shot of right. I'm at Horsenden Hill and it's an 84 metre climb and apparently it provides some of the best views over London. Today I'm walking sections 9, 10, 11 and 12. Yesterday I walked sections 6, 7 and 8. Harrow on the hill is absolutely beautiful. Really, really stunning architecture. Quite a lot of my route today has been in the back streets of the city. This is a particularly beautiful part of the route. This is a place called Fryant Country Park and there's a trig point at the top of Barn Hill. There's a bit of a view of London looking out to Wembley Stadium. I'd done a bit of a detour because I drank all of my water so I just stopped off at this garden centre to get a refill and some snacks. Today is an absolute scorcher but there's quite a lot of shade coming in from all of the woodlands. Yeah. I just saw a sign for homemade ice cream. Um, I wanted to show you this homemade ice cream but I just ate it all. If you're going to do this route passing through West Hendon, stopping off at this shop. It's about 15 metres off the route and grab yourself some homemade Afghanistan ice cream. For a very short amount of time, the route has brought me right next to the North Circular. It's classed as the noisiest road in England but it doesn't last for long and then the route just tucks you in and brings you on this woodland path. The route is always bringing me onto green space. Been on the move today for seven hours, just reaching that point where I'm starting to feel a little bit tired but I've only got eight kilometers left to go. I've just walked through Highgate and I'm on my way to Finsbury Park and instead of taking me on the streets it's brought me through this lovely tree lined path called the Parkland Walk. Got three miles until the finish of day two and I've had to do a bit of a detour because one of the paths into Finsbury Park is closed. <gasps> I'm enjoying myself but my feet are really hurting. Before I reach my destination in less than a kilometre, a quick fact. This is called the New River but it's not new and it's not a river. This was built over 400 years ago to supply London with water. 
boy, oh boy. Am I pleased to be here? Been walking for nine and a half hours today. It is so nice to be here. It's Sunday morning. My body is so tired. I forgot to show you where I'm staying. This is the Amherst Hotel. It was £35 for me to stay, but nice and clean. Everything you need. It's Sunday morning. Time to get these feet and legs loosened up. Within just a couple of hundred metres, the path has brought me back next to the New River. It's a sleepy Sunday morning. Abney Park is absolutely incredible. Definitely put this on your list to stay for a little longer. It's the home of 300,000 graves and it's been here since 1840. I just walked through Springfield Park and now I'm walking along the River Lee, which is really, really beautiful. It's a hive of activity from Hackney to Stratford with lots of things to see. There's some cafes, places to stop and rest. And it's just fascinating because there's some art and graffiti under some of the bridges and also some of the canal boats are fascinating. The path from Hackney to Plas Plasto is called the Greenway Walk, part of the Capital Ring Walk. It feels like it goes on for ages. It's flat on tarmac, which is quite unforgiving. I really look forward to being back on a trail and in a park. This path is lasting for ages. I think this is section 14 of the 15 sections. If you're going to do just a handful of sections, I wouldn't recommend this one. It's not very interesting. I've almost made it to North Woolwich and walking along the River Thames. And it's so bizarre. There's just no one around. As you get close to Woolwich, there's a couple of different options that you can take. You can go over the, the Albert Basin or you can take the longer way. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to take you the longer way. We're going to do this, this route in its entirety. I hadn't really thought this far ahead when I've got to Woolwich. I thought that I would get on the Woolwich Ferry, but there's the Woolwich Foot Tunnel, which I've never done before. I felt reasonably excited about coming through this tunnel. But actually, it just smells like we. I forgot to mention that at the footbridge, that's the official start to the Capital Ring Walk. I'm reaching Shooters Hill just over six kilometers to go. I've got my dad and my stepmom. They're gonna join me. Such a great morale boost. Wow. Dad's lived here for ages and you've never been to this part. Is that right, Dad? Never been to it, no. We are exploring locally. They've headed off back to their house and I've got three and a half kilometres left. Look at this gorgeous little place that I'm staying tonight. Look, isn't this just the best? And this was the part of the route where I was struggling a little bit to find accommodation. 
this little place coming in at I think it was £45 for single occupancy. Everything you need, just absolutely gorgeous. It's Monday morning, I've got 37 kilometres ahead of me and today is my final day. After walking for 10 kilometres, I've made it to Beckenham Place Park. It's the first proper big park of today. It's just nice to be in the nature. The benefit of being in London and close to so many places is you get people to join you on a walk. Yay! This is my friend Flavia. She dropped me a message and said, did I want some company? I've reached Crystal Palace Park. I'm loving this little stretch. I'm in Westo Park, straight into Upper Norwood Recreation Ground then into Biggin Woods, into Norwood Grove, which leads straight into Stretton Common. I'm at my local park, which is Tootingbeck Commons, and I run around this park three times a week. These signs I have never noticed before, and I have been running around here for months. I've got less than 10 kilometers to go. I live less than two miles that way. This walk is helping me see my local park in a different perspective. My final park is Wandsworth Common. At that last part, I'm just itching to finish always and I just try and keep it, keep that feeling down, but it always gets the better of me. I finished hiked about 80 miles. The official distance is 78. I'm back where I started four days ago and now I'm going to celebrate by staying in a hotel in Wimbledon. I've just got to my room. Oh, oh my goodness! Are you joking me? I think the guys have given me an upgrade. This adventure was absolutely fantastic. The thing that I loved about it was that I was so close to home. At one point, less than two miles. Yet because I was on an adventure, I was seeing things through different eyes. I was putting money back into the local economy. It proves that you can really, really have an adventure on your doorstep. The one thing for me that I really enjoy when I do my long walks, even though my body is tired, my brain just relaxes and to be in all that green space, in total I walked through over 40 green spaces. I just had time to think or not think and just time to relax and by the time I got back after four days, I just felt as though I had a massive reset. Of course, if you're thinking about doing this adventure, then you don't need to do it over four days. You can spread it over however many days you want. And if you are close to London, then you don't even need to stay in accommodation. You can jump on public transport, get to the start, do your walk, jump back onto public transport and it can take you straight back home. If you are thinking about doing the Capital Ring Walk, then I have made two other videos. One is a packing list of everything that I took on the adventure, and the other one is top tips and the highlights of the route. So I will put those up here somewhere. And I've also created a blog for each of those videos. So if you wanna see what I took and print off the packing list, then that is available. I have put that in the description box. A massive thanks to Kamut for sponsoring this video. Kamut is a route planning and navigation app for cyclists, runners and hikers. And I designed the 78 mile route on the Kamut website and even found most of my accommodation on there as well, which made planning really, really easy. And then I downloaded the route to my phone. I put my phone in flight mode 
and then it gave me directions through the whole route so it meant that I stayed on track. Take the next right. And if you're wanting to check out Kamut, then I have put their website in the description box and I'll also put it on screen for you right now. I really, really look forward to doing more local adventures. I enjoy them so much. So if you've got any suggestions on what I could do, got any questions about the route, you're thinking about doing it, you have done it, then drop me a comment. I'll put some other videos on screen right now that I think that you might like. Some of them are related to the Capital Ring Walk. And thank you very much for watching.